Hello, everybody. KG here, founder of the Internet Money Crypto Wallet. And today, I am bringing you another quick and easy tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to change from one blockchain to another, or you can call this a cross-chain swap. This feature allows you to change from the native or gas coin on one network for the native or gas coin on another network. So for example, you can change ETH for Pulse or Pulse for BNB or Pole for ARB. You can change the native coin or cross-chain swap between different networks. At the time of making this video, the change or cross-chain swap currently supports 27 different networks, and we do plan to extend that in the future. This tutorial is going to be exactly the same experience whether you're using the Android, iOS, or Chrome application. An important note is depending on which assets you're changing, there's going to be different limits that we display to you within the app. Now, the note about these limits is that they are only limits and minimums per that specific transaction. So if you're wanting to change more than a maximum is allowing you to do, all you have to do is split it up into multiple transactions and you'll be able to change whatever amount of the asset that you're trying to change is. You will just have to split it up in order to accomplish that. With that said, let's jump right into it. Here we have the internet money wallet loaded up on the Chrome extension. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already have the internet money wallet installed and downloaded. If you don't check out the links in this description where we will have setup and walkthrough videos of the wallet. And again, this is the same experience on Android, iOS, and Chrome. So from the main screen of your internet money wallet, you will see your accounts here. Now there's two ways that you can access the change feature. Over here on Chrome on the left-hand side in the nav bar, there's a change button. Or if you're on mobile, in the bottom nav bar, there's a buy and sell button, which you can click that, and then it'll open up your buy and sell options. Or you can click directly into your account and you will see the blue change button here as well. If you want to know which networks currently support changing, click on the networks tab and every network that has the blue change icon is a network that you can change on. If you see the swap badge icon, that means that on that specific chain or network, you can trade any asset on that chain or network. We have our in-app swap there. So the swap is a different feature than the change. I'm gonna head back to the main wallet screen, click into my account, and I'm going to click change. Here is the change screen. This field here is the account that is actually going to fund or do the change, which you can click that and change it to any account you have loaded in the wallet. This account here is the account that you're going to change into. So by default, we load the account that you're changing out of, but you can actually change into any account. If I click on the change into field, you'll see your loaded accounts here, but you'll also see that you can change into any other account, even if it's not yours or not loaded into this wallet. And if you're on Pulse Chain, you can do that by .pls domains. Also, if you're on Ethereum, you can do that by .eth or ENS domains as well. This is actually a really cool feature because it allows you to send any asset on the supported network to anyone. So let's say that somebody wants to accept ETH. You can take your Pulse and send them ETH and it'll do the change and the delivery, so to speak, for you. You can also do this if you're going to your centralized exchange to cash out. This can be one easy step 
to remove another layer. You could put your centralized exchange address right here. So if you wanted to send ETH to your centralized exchange, you could simply put your centralized exchange address here, send your pulse, it'll automatically get converted to ETH and then drop that off in your account. Also, you can use this to send it to another one of your accounts and it can be sort of anonymizing where it's not completely anonymous, but it does obscure the chain of custody if you're trying to do that. So you can use this custom field here for a lot of really cool things. But for this video, we're just gonna do our own account. Going down here, you will see a selector that will allow you to change between the coin or the US dollar value, which will impact what you're typing in here. So if it's on pulse in this example, and you're typing in an amount, it is going to do that amount in terms of pulse. If you switch to USD and type in an amount, it's gonna determine that amount in USD. The max button simply inputs the max amount possible depending on how much you're holding in that account. So for our video here, we're going to use the native coin selector. And if you click on the amount to change from drop down here, you will see all the different networks that you're able to change out of. And you'll also see if you have balances on these networks, the balance will populate. It pulls all the balances at the exact same time. So you'll see if you have any balances to actually pull from. Up here, you can also search by ticker name or by the name of the network or blockchain itself. So we're gonna be changing from PLS on Pulse Chain into Ethereum. Now, let me show you an example of if I did a small amount. You're gonna see that the minimum amount for this change is 154,000 and change in PLS. So you would need to increase your minimum amount to at least that. Now let's say you want to change 500 million PLS. You're gonna see the maximum amount for this change is 34,200,000 PLS. So if I wanted to change 500 million PLS, I would have to do it in 34,200,000 PLS increments. We hope that these amounts do increase over time, but for now, the limits will always be displayed to you here. So we'll go back to our 155,000 pulse example. You will see that the US dollar value is here. The estimated amount of ETH that you're gonna receive is here. And the estimated US dollar value is here. If you're happy with everything that you see here, go ahead and click next. Make sure that it's going from the correct account to the correct account. Make sure you're happy with the estimated output. You can alter your gas settings here by clicking edit and you can increase to the priority gas settings. You can slow it down if you want to save a little bit on the gas costs, or you can open up the advanced options and input any custom amount that you would like there. If you're happy with that, click save. And if you're good with everything, click initiate exchange. Once your exchange is submitted, you will get this pop up here saying your transaction request to change from Pulse to ETH has been submitted. Check the transactions tab to view the status. Now this is really cool here actually. You click OK, head back to the home screen, click on transactions, and if you click into the transaction, you can see in real time the transaction status. So we'll go ahead and leave it here and watch this in real time. And you can see that it has confirmed. Once you see that your transaction has successfully been sent, you can head back to the home screen, change your network to the network that you changed to, and you'll see that it is now in the account. If you change to another address that wasn't here in the internet money wallet or an address that you do not own, you can go to that address on the block explorer or ask your recipient if they received it. Now I'll show you what you can do in the event that you experience an issue. You head back to the 
network that you changed from. Go to the specific transaction. You can click View on Block Explorer, which will take you to the initial transaction that you did on chain. Or you can click this here, which will actually take you to the Change Now page where you can view the transaction status once again and you can see all the different transaction hashes. And if you experience an issue, you can reach out to Change Now Support by clicking Support and Contact Support. And once you're on your desired network, if the Internet Money Wallet supports swapping on that chain, click that Swap button and swap between your favorite assets in a matter of seconds, searching more liquidity sources than most other places available on chain. It really is that easy. If you were doing this outside of the tutorial, it would have taken you only about two to three minutes to change from one network to another once you know the process and have it down. As always, only get the official links for the Internet Money Wallet app, our Telegram communities, anything else dealing with the Internet Money ecosystem from the main website, internetmoney.io. All official links can be found there, and that website will be in the description of this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, follow us, wherever it is you're seeing this. Your support helps us grow and bring DeFi to the rest of the world. If you're somebody that likes easy user experiences, lots of features, and your data not being collected, the Internet Money Wallet is the wallet for you, and we would appreciate the opportunity to earn your business and support. Until next time, my name is KG, founder of the Internet Money Wallet. Peace. Got my own keys and my own coin. Gotta protect this money. Took too long for me to get it. Can't let them take